The Nobel Assembly at the Karolinska Institutet has today decided to award the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Svante Pebo for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. This Nobel Prize is about uh, the origins of us humans. Uh, where do we come from and how are we related to those who came before us? Svante Pebo had a vision uh, of uh, characterizing and sequencing the genome of Neanderthals, an extinct uh, relative of us humans. Uh, this was a technically very difficult project. Nobody else or almost nobody else thought it would be possible, but Svante Pebo was nevertheless able to obtain the after many years of hard work, the complete genome sequence of Neanderthals. And this gave, was very interesting. And for example, it uh, told us that we and the Neanderthals separated around 800,000 years ago. Uh, that's the, when we had a common ancestor. He also uh, discovered a whole new uh, relative of us, uh, the Denisovans. This has also led us to the understanding that we uh, migrated out of Africa around 70,000 years ago. At that time, uh, there were already Neanderthals and Denisovans in Europe uh, and Asia. And we see that there's a gene flow from Neanderthals and Denisovans to humans. And we still today can see around 2% uh, DNA from Neanderthals in European humans and up to 6% uh, the Nisovan DNA in uh, humans in Eastern Asia. Svante was, uh, is f uh, from Stockholm. He was educated uh, at Uppsala University and that has since then been active in Germany for many years. The, the, the meaning and the significance of this work, uh, it's hard to predict at this time. The most fascinating aspect, I think, is that now uh, we can see differences in the genome between humans and Neanderthals and the Nisovans. And this can help us hopefully to understand why we have de developed in a different way compared to the Neanderthals. They had tools and uh, used tools, but they, this did not develop very much. Whereas, of course, as we know, we have developed uh, in a very different way. So I think this research helps us to understand how we are different from uh, our closest relatives and um, what makes us humans.